Developed throughout the 1950s, along with other designs of heavy artillery, the TB-1 Oka is a self-propelled super-heavy artillery designed in the Soviet Union to be used for long-distance engagements, as well as shelling strategic locations, as the notion of a super-heavy gun with an incredible range is a significant tool for striking fear in the hearts of the enemy. The first prototype of this self-propelled cannon was produced during 1957 in St. Petersburg at the Kirov plant. The design itself would be consistent with a standard self-propelled gun being a tracked carriage and an incredibly long barrel, in this case a length of 20 meters, a gun so long that transport would be an issue in of itself. The TB-1 was designed with extreme range in mind, a staggering 45 km range from a 420mm smoothbore gun firing a gargantuan 750kg round. The operation and loading of this cannon would require a crew of 7 soldiers, with reload times being accomplished at a rate of 1 round every 5 minutes. This is due to the immense weight of the round as well as the complex method of loading. The system would run on a 700 horsepower V12 diesel engine, which seems a tremendous power, but with a system weight of 55.3 tons, the artillery would find itself stuck in any off-road terrain and find itself tactically limited in terms of strategic positioning. The development of the TB-1 Oka would be investigated and ceased in 1960, as field tests with the prototype found that the sheer force of firing the gun would rock the entire system so heavily it would leave many portions of the vehicle destroyed, with the stresses of firing damaging the hull and gun mount itself, even ripping out the gearbox. The idea of super heavy artillery would come to a close with this project, and the focus would be set on long-range tactical missile systems instead. 